So, what's the hype with hypersonic missiles, anyway? See what I did there? I mean, we get it. They are fast. But aren't missiles supposed to be, like, uh, fast? So, we decided to dig a bit deeper into the matter and found out that hypersonic missiles, as fast as they are, have other perks that distinguish them from the other missiles we already know and fear. Let's share what we've learned so far so that you can use this information to show your friends how smart you are, or use it to impress that special someone with your knowledge of modern combat. Nothing is hotter than a person who knows about missiles. The term hypersonic speed refers to any speed greater than Mach 5, or five times the speed of sound. Because a variety of physical effects begin to become a significant engineering challenge at that speed, this threshold is used to define a subset of air vehicles. First of all, hypersonic systems have been in use for decades. John Glenn's capsule entered the atmosphere at hypersonic speed back in 1962. All of the intercontinental ballistic missiles in the world's nuclear arsenals are hypersonic, reaching about 15,000 miles per hour. So, what's the deal? Well, the US-based Missile Defense Advocacy Alliance states that hypersonic weapons refer to weapons that travel faster than Mach 5, 3,800 miles per hour, and have the capability to maneuver during the entire flight. According to Russian experts, to label a weapon hypersonic, that weapon needs to be faster than Mach 5 and must be able to make maneuvers, both vertical and horizontal, while traveling at this speed inside the atmosphere. This last bit is where many ballistic missiles fail. Also remember, ICBMs are launched on large rockets and then fly on a predictable trajectory that takes them out of the atmosphere into space and then back into the atmosphere again. They can't maneuver. The fact that these next-generation hypersonic weapons are difficult to defend against due to their speed, maneuverability, and hard-to-predict flight path is the primary reason nations are developing them. These next-generation missiles with conventional, non-nuclear warheads are most effective against high-value targets like aircraft carriers. Let's take a look at a few of them. KH-47M2 Kinzhal Although it is clear when Kinzhal's development began, analysts say it is likely derived from the ground-launched 9K720 Iskander-M short-range ballistic missile. Kinzhal is an aeroballistic system. This means that after being dropped from an aircraft, it accelerates to hypersonic speed using a rocket and follows a ballistic trajectory. On March 19, 2022, the Russian Ministry of Defense claimed it had fired a Kinzhal missile at a munitions depot around the town of Dilyatin in southwestern Ukraine. This marks the first known use of the weapon in combat. DFZF The DFZF, previously known as the Wu-14 as a prototype, is a hypersonic glide vehicle under development for use by the People's Liberation Army Rocket Forces. A hypersonic glide vehicle is boosted on a rocket to a high altitude and then glides to its target, maneuvering along the way. The DFZF warhead is carried to the boundary between space and Earth's atmosphere, approximately 62 miles above the ground by a large ballistic missile booster. When it reaches that altitude, it begins to glide in a relatively flat trajectory by performing a pull-up maneuver, and it can reach speeds of up to Mach 10. The gliding phase not only allows the HGV to maneuver aerodynamically, performing evasive maneuvers and evading interception, but it also extends the missile's range. AGM-183A the United States Air Force, USAF, has successfully tested its first hypersonic missile prototype. The service's new AGM-183A Air Launch Rapid Response Weapon, or AERO, is expected to be the U.S. military's first operational hypersonic weapon. The AGM-183A's exact speed is unknown, but the Lockheed Martin design weapon is said to be based on previous DARPA test vehicles, with an alleged maximum speed of Mach 20, or 15,000 miles per hour. This missile is also a hypersonic glide weapon, like the DFCF. 3M22 Zircon Well, maybe they should call this one Putin's baby, since he loves bragging about it. The Zircon is a scramjet-powered hypersonic cruise missile. Unlike hypersonic glide weapons, hypersonic cruise missiles rely on cooled supersonic combustion ramjet engines, which use the flow of air at supersonic speeds compressed by the forward motion of the missile to drive combustion. This necessitates the need for hypersonic cruise missiles to be relatively large to carry both the propellants and oxidizers required for rocket propulsion, as well as their scramjets and other payloads such as sensors. However, at a reported 26 to 32 foot length, the Zircon is somewhat smaller than missiles such as the DF-17, which mount hypersonic glide vehicles. So, in theory, this missiles can be carried on a wide range of vessels such as submarines and surface combatants. Russian officials claim the 3M22 Zircon can travel at Mach 9, or about 6,900 miles per hour, 
which may be too fast for current tactical anti-missile defenses. So this was our little introduction to the wonderful world of hypersonic weapons. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. See you next week!